There's a term you use all the time, esotropia, what is that? Esotropia is a form of strabismus. Strabismus is a general term which basically says that the eyes are not aligned properly. Esotropia is the type of misalignment which basically the eyes go inward, okay? What happens if it goes the other way? That's called exotropia. If the eyes drift outward, it's usually initially an intermittent type of problem. Not everyone sees it. Uh, an, an exotropia, the eyes drift outward. Sometimes the parent might know that the child is might notice that the child's closing one eye, squinting in the sunlight, or possibly at times of um, loss of their attention, they might notice that their eyes are drifting out if they're daydreaming or tired. So, in other words, if the eyes are not coordinated there's a chance that one eye may not want to look and sometimes you have a term that we use called amblyopia? Yes, amblyopia is very often used incorrectly. It's, all, it's another name for amblyopia, the layman's term, is lazy eye. People make the assumption that, every lazy, that ev everybody who has something wrong with their eyes has a lazy eye. A lazy eye is actually amblyopia. It's a loss of vision in one eye, usually, that's caused by either a misalignment an imbalance of the person's refractive error, or something blocking the child's vision. Occasionally, even a ptosis, a droopy lid, can cause an amblyopia if it's covering the child's visual axis.